All right, today we are going to try the notes for lesson 2-4, which is modeling, addition, and subtraction of decimals. And before we get started, here are the things you're going to need for the notes for this lesson. The grid paper from Mrs. Minton, which um, was a worksheet she gave you that has all of those little hundreds grids like that, okay? You're going to need scissors. You're going to need two colors, whether it's colored pencils, colored pens. I'm just using highlighters because that's what I have. Um, and then you're going to need a glue stick. So if you want to, you can pause it, get all those things together, and then come back and start your notes. Okay, so this lesson is all about modeling addition and subtraction of decimals. And the main thing you need to understand with this lesson is that you can represent addition and subtraction problems with grids, okay? You need to be able to conceptualize and visualize what adding and subtracting decimals looks like. So here's an example. Sam rode his bike 70 fifths of a hundred, 75 hundredths of a mile in the morning and one and one, one and 10 hundredths miles in the afternoon. The question is, how many miles did he ride in all? Okay, so go ahead and pause it here and get this problem copied and then cut out two grids and glue those down. And then push play when you're ready to for the next step. Okay, so now the question is, how do we show this problem with a grid? Well, we know that the it's going to be an addition equation so we're going to have 75 hundredths plus 1 and 10 hundredths and then we're going to represent that with these grids. So what you're going to do is take one color and that's going to be your 75 hundredths. So now since this is this one grid is representing one whole I'm going to shade in 75 hundredths. So, go ahead and do that. So, this would be 7 tenths. I have 7 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. And then I also need to shave the shade in those last 5 hundredths. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, five. So this is what 75 hundredths looks like. All right. Now I also need to shade in one hole and ten hundredths. Now I'm going to represent that with this bright yellow. And I know one hole is going to be ten columns. So I'm going to start with these two. Because I'm adding them together, I'm going to have to put them all together. So here's two tenths, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I shade all of this in, this will represent one whole. Because I have 100 little squares shaded in. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I also need to shade in this 10 hundredths. Well here I can shade these in. There's five here, which means to be 10 hundredths I need to shade in five more over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I have represented 75 hundredths plus 1 and 10 hundredths and my sum is going to be this. I know this is one whole plus 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So it's going to be 1 and 85 hundredths. Now I know what some of you are saying. I could do that. I could do that problem in my head. Now that's perfect that you can do it in your head, but in order to 
show that you can understand the relationship, you need to be able to represent it with the hundreds grid. Okay? Okay, moving along. Another problem is how can we show how much farther he rode in the afternoon than in the morning? So we know that is going to be a subtraction equation, which is 1 and 10 hundredths minus 75 hundredths. So I'm going to shade in my 1 and 10 hundredths again in yellow. And now I'm going to show you how you represent subtraction. Addition makes sense because you just shade in the exact amount you have for each addend and then count up all the squares. So there's one whole and there's ten hundredths. Now seventy-five hundredths are what you're taking away. So I'm going to count here's one tenth. Okay, so then 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. All of these are taken away because we're subtracting them. And that's 70 hundredths or 7 tenths. And now I need 5 hundredths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can count what's left. One, two, three tenths, and five hundredths. So thirty-five hundredths. So this is modeling a subtraction problem. Go ahead and pause the video here if you need to get these notes caught up. If not, then flip it over to the other side and copy down these two practice problems. Number one says, use another grid to show this addition problem. There you have 3 tenths plus 28 hundredths. So we want you to cut and glue however many grids you think you need. Use two different colors to represent each of these add-ins. Show it on the grid. Write the equation in your answer. And do the same thing down here to show a subtraction problem. Um, so copy this down. Use another grid to show this subtraction problem. 47 hundredths minus... 15 hundredths using the same strategies we used here. The two colors for adding and then oops, use one color to shade in for subtraction and then cross off whatever amount you're taking away. These are the two problems we will go over in class tomorrow. Again, glue a grid down, write the equation with the answer and model it by coloring in the grids. Okay, you can watch or re you can pause or rewatch any part of the video that you need. Make sure you have all the notes and I will see you tomorrow.